Hi, Shoebox friends. This is Denise with D. Rogers. I am back. Whew. It was much harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, I am now almost three weeks post-op uh, next Tuesday, and um, I'm doing fine. I am walking with a cane and walking without a cane in my house, so that's not too bad. I'm doing pretty good, and I'm grateful for all of your prayers and your support. Thank you so much. Um, I just couldn't get any sleep. That was like the hardest part and the pain was pretty bad in the beginning, but I like, like hit a corner or a curb, I guess they say around two weeks out and I started to improve and I had my first physical therapy outside of my home yesterday and I did well. So, um, so I'm not doing too bad. I'm able to be up for a little while, but then I get really tired, really exhausted, really fast and I have to um, sit back down in my lounge chair. and um, But I am able to do some little things here and there for Operation Christmas Child, which of course I've been doing as much as I can. So I've done some filler and I've done some pencil packs, which I'm going to show you today. But I really wanted to hop on here and just talk a little bit about Hurricane Helene that has devastated the Southeast portion of our country and encourage you to go to SamaritansPurse.org and consider donating or volunteering to help. Um, there are links down there on their website um, and it hit their own backyard because uh, Operation Christmas Child's headquarters in Boone, North Carolina. So it has struck home for us. Um, but they are there and they are ready to help with disaster relief. And um, also if you were going to try to sign up to volunteer at the processing center, that has been delayed. That was originally scheduled for October 1st. And because of the um, some of the damage to the infrastructure and getting help and things like that, they're gonna delay that a little bit. They'll let us know by email, um, uh, I think Facebook, as much as communication as possible as to what date that will now be changed to. So to be sure, um, be sure to be on the lookout for that. But the devastation down south has just been beyond belief. Um, I have friends down there and um, some family and it's just it's just unbelievable. So um, again, I encourage you to go to SamaritansPurse.org and consider donating to help um, these people in this part of the country that really needs us right now. All right, so let me show you. I will tell you a little bit more about my procedure in another video, but let me show you today my pencil packs. I want to encourage you to keep packing pencil packs for Pencil Granny and friends. And so I thought I'd show you a couple of pencil packs that I've been doing while I've been in recovery. So let's take a look. Okay, so the first set of pencil packs I wanna show you, I'm calling them Full, Fun, and Flowery because they definitely have a flower theme to them. And I love how they turned out. So um, let me open one up and I'll show you everything that I included. Okay, so just a reminder, pencil packs are used as filler. Uh, at the processing center and a processor can put them in a shoe box when an item is removed and needs something to replace that item. I belong to the Pencil Granny and Friends Facebook group and we try to keep track of all the pencil packs that we're doing every year in hopes of increasing the amount of school supplies for each shoe box. There are no rules to pencil packing. It's just your creativity, your heart, and I do love the creativity that can go into these pencil packs. I really enjoy doing them and I just feel like they create a purpose and there is a need for them. So I'm using a pencil case that I got off of Amazon. I like this brand a lot and I even use these in my shoe boxes. And I attached a little pull. He's a little teddy bear that I got from Raymond Geddes. And the other items in this pencil pack are some paper clips that I've hooked together. Those were just from Dollar Tree. Cute little flower eraser, some pink beads, some flower stickers. I got a flower poppet. These are from Amazon. It's a little keychain poppet. And then I've added two markers, uh, two pencils with caps, and these are sharpened, so I put some washi tape on the end. Three beautiful, um, inspirational, flowery pencils. This one says, be holy. Um, this one says, thankful, joyous, blessed. 
Um, and this just has a, a number of religious phrases on it. Be faithful. And then I have a black pen. And then I have this beautiful flowered quick pen. These are from Amazon. I have a little um, spiky ball. This cute little mushroom pencil cap. These are also from Raymond Geddes. Thought those would be cute in a little flower themed pack. This beautiful flower eraser that I just love. These are from Amazon. A pencil sharpener. And one of the things I've really gotten into during recovery is some diamond painting. So I did some diamond painting flowers and included one in every pencil pouch. And these are just little stickers. This, this is a really relaxing craft project. Once you do them, you get kind of hooked on it, but um, it's like a little sticker they can peel off when they open it up. So I did add two little packs of paper, little flowers on this one, and then this is a little book with lines. And then I decided to add a cone and some hair ties. So that's my um, full fun and flowery pencil pack for the processing center. So I hope that gives you an idea or two if you're packing pencil packs. They don't have to be themed and they can just be regular pencils, erasers, anything you think could help a child um, attend school. I also did these smaller packs, which are kind of fun to do. These little um, packages had um, other items in it that, that were sent to me. And so I took the items out. I think the erasers were in here. And then I put in some short pencils, a little um, notebook, eraser, sharpener, a little fun little eraser, uh, some stickers. And this is a little, little bookmark, a magnetic bookmark in there. And I made um, a small pencil pack, which is you know really super cute and can be used to fill a small space. So I just want to encourage you to keep packing pencil packs and report your numbers to the Pencil Granny and Friends. Uh, so we get a good idea of how many pencil packs we're actually creating to go to processing centers all around the country. All right, I'm going to show you another one that I'm working on that's not quite finished. Okay, these are turning out really cute too. I haven't completed them. I'm waiting on some stickers from Oriental Trading. But this is what they look like so far. And these are four by 10 bags uh, that I purchased off of Amazon. So I'm gonna open one up and show you everything that I have inside so far. Okay, every packet has a little notebook. I got these at Oriental Trading. They're on clearance right now and I really, really like them. They're just little notebooks. It says great job on the top. I've included an eraser. I still have some of these erasers left from Walmart. Sadly, they didn't do these this year, the reward erasers, but um, I still have a bunch. Uh, I included four colored pencils. These were from the Prang colored pencils from Dollar Tree, the 50 pack I divided up. I included a little wooden cross. He has a fun, or she has a fun little eraser with a little go on top of the pencil. Those are from Amazon. Uh, a pencil sharpener, those are from Oriental Trading. And I included six pencils. Now these pencils are all, are all sharpened and I sometimes uh, get a little concerned about putting the sharpened pencils in my bag and having the tips go through the baggies. So I created a little pouch from some cardstock so the pencils could easily go in there. And then I put three pencil caps on top. And this fit nicely into the um, plastic sleeve. So I also included a draw, like an adult drawing page in every packet. This was a book that I separated all the pages out of. And then I included some lined paper. So, and that kind of acts as the, um, the spine of the pencil pack. And then these cute little guys were recently donated to me. And um, it's funny because I was donated 24 of them and I had done exactly 24 packs and I was looking for something fun to go in the pencil pack and these are perfect. 
So these are little wind up toys and you can put, I always try to put a little toy in my pencil packs. Um, it's not required, but I like to do it um, just to make it a little more fun. So I'm still waiting on stickers to go with this kit and I'll probably put in one more fun item or eraser to complete these pencil packs. So that's it. Thank you so much for coming along. I still want to encourage you to pack some pencil packs for the Pencil Granny and Friends this year. It's a fun activity. It's um, School supplies are really needed in the shoe boxes, so it's a great filler item to consider. So thanks so much for coming along. I hope you're getting excited about shoe box drop off. Um, it's almost here, a little over six weeks away. So I hope I can still encourage you in your shoe box packing and also filler and pencil packs. So thanks again. Uh, thanks again for all your prayers and good wishes. They really do mean a lot to me. Um, I'm really appreciative. So I'm doing better. I'm trying to get better every day. So thanks again. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.